So you guys remember like a few months back when Alec Baldwin was involved with a uh, an incident on set for the movie Rust where he was saddened, he was crying because someone lost their life because of a bullet that was placed in a weapon that wasn't supposed to be there? Well, yeah, the investigation went underway and the district attorney is putting charges on Alec Baldwin. He got charged with involuntary manslaughter. And others got charged with some stuff too. We gonna go ahead and get up into it, man. This this goes a little bit deeper than you probably think. That's right, Alec Baldwin charged with involuntary manslaughter. Oh boy, it's not a good look for Alec. But that is not a good look for other people as well. But let's go ahead and get into what's going on here. Alec Baldwin will be charged with involuntary manslaughter in the fatal shooting of the cinematographer, Ms. Hutchins. Uh, Baldwin and the film's armorer, who was also in charge of the weapons on set, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, will each face two counts of involuntary manslaughter, according to Mexico's first judicial district attorney, district attorney Mary, and all that. Okay, so the first assistant director, David Halls, agreed to plead guilty to the negligence of the use of a deadly weapon and will testify for the state prosecutor. Oh, snap. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a snitch. This dude right here said the first assistant director, David Halls, he agreed to plead guilty to the negligent use of a deadly weapon. And he's going to be working with the prosecution, boy. So we got a guy who's ready. You know what? You know what? I'll take the plea deal. You haven't even heard the term, sir. It doesn't matter. Just as long as, you know, you got a deal. I'll take that deal and I'll even work with you. He's snitching. I wonder if they gave him a Popeye's chicken meal first before he started snitching. I wonder, did he take a cigarette? Did he want a Coke? Or did he just start singing? God dang, this ain't a good look for Alec Baldwin and the armorer. The fact that you got a snitch and somebody pled guilty to the situation already lets me know that some shady stuff is going down and some shady stuff went down. Let's dig a little bit further up into this. Uh, this decision uh, distorts uh, Helene Hunter's tragic death and... A terrible miscarriage of justice. Mr. Baldwin had no reason to believe that there was a live bullet in the gun or anywhere on the movie set. He relied on the professionals with whom he worked, who assured him that the gun did not have live rounds. We will fight these charges and we will win. I don't know if you guys feel the way I feel about this situation because it, it, it blows my mind to know that an actor who's working on set of a movie could be handed a gun by a professional that deals with the guns on set, the armorer, and then pulls that thing, it goes off, and he's getting charged with manslaughter? How does that happen? The first initial reaction that you guys probably have, same as I got, is why is Alec being charged with anything? Why is that even a thing? There's a whole professional job title responsible so that these type of situations don't happen. The armorer should be charged just like she is. There shouldn't have even been a live bullet brought to set. Who did that? This reminds me of the movie The Crow, bro. Brandon Lee, gone. Real bullet in the gun. Who brought that bullet on set? Man, this 2023, man. We got to really get... You, that type of stuff can't happen anymore. So now that we investigate, all eyes are on the situation. Social media is booming. We got to figure out what the heck happened here. That whole Crow set, that was obviously some shenanigans and right here after seeing that we have a snitch and charges are out there's some obvious shenanigans but let me break bread with you guys even further i think there's another layer to this alec baldwin is a douchebag y'all he's a prick he's anal he's very mean-spirited especially when he gets drunk this is just what i know but then again, a lot of you guys are probably aware of a phone call that he had with his daughter some years back. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play this call. He had this call with his daughter at the time, and he said some pretty nasty things about her. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Hey, I want to tell you something, okay? And I want to leave a message for you right now, because again, it's 1030 here in New York on a Wednesday. And once again, I've made an ass of myself. Trying to get you a phone to call you at a specific time. When the time comes for me to make the phone call, I stop whatever I'm doing and I go and I make that phone call at 11 o'clock in the morning in New York. And if you don't pick up the phone at 10 o'clock at night and you don't even have that goddamn phone turned on, 
I want you to know something, okay? I, I, I'm tired of playing this game with you. I'm leaving this message with you to tell you, you have insulted me for the last time. You have insulted me. You don't have the brains or the decency as a human being. I don't give a damn that you're 12 years old or 11 years old or that you're a child or that your mother is a thoughtless pain in the ass who doesn't care about what you do as far as I'm concerned. You have humiliated me for the last time with this phone. And when I come out there next week, I'm going to fly out there for the day just to straighten you out on this issue. I'm going to let you know just how disappointed in you I am and how angry I am with you that you've done this to me again. You've made me feel like shit and you've made me feel like a fool over and over and over great again. And this crap you pull on me with this goddamn phone situation that you would never dream of doing to your mother and you do it to me constantly and over and over again. I am going to get on a plane and I'm going to come out there for the day and I'm going to straighten your ass out when I see you. Do you understand yeah. me? I'm going to really make sure you get it. Then I'm going to get on a plane, I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to come home. So you better be ready Friday, the 20th, to meet with me. So I'm going to let you know just how I feel about what a rude little pig you really are. You are a rude, thoughtless little pig, okay? To replay this message. Hey, I want to... Oh, my God. Do you guys remember that? I do. The thing about that voicemail is that, yeah, he's hot. He's he's tripping out, wilding out. But the fact that that's his daughter and she's 11 years old, that message was left to an 11-year-old girl. Who does that? A lunatic does that. And that's who exactly Alec Baldwin is. He's always on the edge of crazy. A couple other things that you might not know about Alec Baldwin is that he has earned a reputation for his displays of anger in public including a series of confrontations with paparazzi being removed from a fight in 2011 for refusing to turn his phone and arguing with police after being stopped in 2014 while riding a bike the wrong way down Fifth Avenue. He was even convicted of harassment after an argument outside his apartment block in 2019. These are just a couple of things that Alec Baldwin has been uh, involved in. over, the And this is what I come to pass with. Alec Baldwin is a known prick douchebag with a hot temper. Look how he talks to his 11-year-old daughter. You don't think this fool probably got pissed off at the lady and was like, yo, man, give me a live one. This fool, Alec Baldwin, could have been like, give me a hot one. I'm about to put her down. Blah! Oops! Who the heck put this bullet in this thing? Oh, my God, get up! What happened? What happened? Please, get up! That's what happens? That sounds asinine, right? That sounds absolutely ridiculous. I know it does. But the simple fact that this man is being charged has everything to do, in my opinion, with the way people perceive him. And the way people perceive you is really important, guys. The way you're perceived actually does matter. That's why I'm trying to work on myself. I don't want to be known as a hothead, fat dude who thinks he knows everything and can't take an L. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm making a change. I'm keeping it 100% real in 2023. Not giving a shit about how you feel about my opinion. But at the same time, I also got to work on being a little bit more kinder to people. Alec <laughs> Baldwin caught charges. He was an actor working on a movie set who pulled the trigger and someone died because somebody put a live bullet in that gun. And not only are we blaming, not blaming the armorer 100%, but the, the director, he's also snitching and said, I'm willing to cooperate. Bruh, something is going down. So somebody somewhere said, I'm get a real one out that I got one my trunk. Put it up in that shit. He gonna pull that bitch. Yeah, take her out. That's a conspiracy. Bro. Some whispers were happening on the set of Rust and someone lost their life because of it. Somebody got to pay. But honestly, the armor needs to j a jail sentence. And obviously, this dude right here who's snitching, he trash. But common sense is telling me, yo, come on, Alec Baldwin, he's he's in this situation simply because he ain't liked. He's a douchebag. 
And uh, he'll be fine. He's not going to get – I don't think he's going to get uh, – he's going to break this. He's going to win. It might not even go to court. might not even go to trial. Stuff is going to – this is going to get dismissed. But it's just a reminder. It makes – this is a learning experience for me. Like how you're perceived by people, you do not get benefit of the doubt. So, y'all, what I'm – lesson I'm learning, understand, try to be nicer to people. I like to be liked by people. I don't really care if I'm hated. But who wants to be hated by people, right? You want to be liked. Alec Baldwin, you're not liked. So maybe you could do some counseling and some therapy, get off that bottle, and get your shit together. That's just me. I'm Jody Joe. Subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Deuces.